it better do a lot more than just take pictures and lift weight. Good afternoon, morning, or evening, whatever you're doing, whatever time it is, I'm the mainly digger. I have the best news, great news, great news. I am getting a drone. I'm getting a professional drone. My wife gave me the green light. She was like, do it, go ahead. This is how much I'm telling you to spend. I said, yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. So this video is looking at the drones that I could possibly buy. I have, I, I've already already purchased or I made, a, made the purchase. So I'll tell you what I purchased at the end of this video. Knowing that I am a cheap, I am a cheap person. I'm not gonna buy the top, top grade drone. Just, just know that, just know that, know that. But I do want to buy good, a good drone. So I'll tell you at the end of the video what I bought. And here are some of the drone choices that you have. I currently have the Ishin Pocket Drone. I love this drone. The hardest part about this drone is trying to say the name. It's a great drone. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about putting drones back together because I've, I've broken it a couple of times. I'm still keeping it. Probably going to give it to my kid. Or when she gets older, she'll, she'll just take it. But I love this drone. I wanted to get a drone that is more for professional work. I want to get my 107 license and start making money off of flying drones and taking pictures, which would be awesome. And that's why I'm buying a more professional drone. Before I start this video, let's talk about Operation Reboot Outdoors. Operation Reboot Outdoors is a nonprofit organization. This nonprofit organization has one mission, and it's to get veterans and law enforcement officers back out into the main woods to take them hunting, fishing, just to get them out. Here is some of their merchandise. All profits from this merchandise go to their mission. Join the Reboot Nation. You can join the Operation Reboot Nation by subscribing to their channel on YouTube. So we're gonna start off with the DJI Inspire 2. And I'll show you a picture. It is like 35,000 something dollars. And that's a package. That's in the package. That's unbelievable. Like I wouldn't, that's a, the, no way there's no way I'm paying for that so I was, I was like maybe maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm reading that wrong and that's like just a package with that comes with some special stuff in it so I go to the actual page the G, DJI page and that's not true I'll even show you a picture like it's it's inexpensive like that's more than I even if I had the money I've said this about metal detectors too. I wouldn't spend it on that. I wouldn't spend that much on one one piece of equipment unless unless it was it was needed. Like unless I absolutely needed it, it was my profession and I knew I'd be making that money back pretty fast. But that's a lot of money to spend. So number 2 on the, on this list and there's no real the order that I'm going through, it's just, if they're pricing, I'm gonna say it, is DJI, once again, great company. Their uh, drones are pricey, but for a good reason, but this made my list. It is the DJI Mavic M-A-V-I-C 2. It is, I think, around 1700 or $1,500. That is a lot to me. Uh, some people could probably spend that in no, no time. But it's a good, from what I hear, it, it has good good ratings and it's a good, good little drone and a good little machine. That, I mean, that I could see buying. I definitely could see buying and see using a lot. But that to me is still expensive. 
This one is the Fold Dragon or the Fold Rig Dragon. It is $31,600. military grade it can lift up to 300 pounds it could lift a full-grown man that is uh, like a man like a normal size man so plus gear that's another 70 pounds Mil like military wise seven, military gear that's 70 pounds and then some that's a lot of weight but for thirty one thousand six hundred dollars it better do a lot more than just take pictures and lift weight. The next one is called the Tornado, and it is 32000 pretty much $32,000. That, I mean, it's a lot of money. I keep saying these are a lot of money, and I understand without a doubt these are used for military platforms or private security platforms, however you want to take that. But that's a lot of money. <laughs> My suggestion is if you're just starting out in flying drones and you're thinking about flying drones, camera drones, any drones, get a cheap one. There are so many cheap drones out there. There's cheap drones with cameras. There's cheap drones that you can do upgrades to. Just learn about the drones themselves. I didn't know I liked drones until my wife got me one for Christmas. And I was like, yes, I started flying it. And I started, I, you know, did a little research and like, there's people who make money off this stuff. And that's kind of what spiked my interest in getting a, a, a better drone, something I can make a business out of or, you know, a side gig or just have fun with. And so my drone that I chose is a Phantom 3 Advanced. But I didn't buy a new one. I didn't buy a new one. A new one would have been 900 something my my the the capper that my wife gave me was around a thousand so i had to beat that i had to top that i had to say you know i can do better than that i can get a, a cheaper drone that's just as just as good so i bought what they call a new a renewed uh drone one that's that that's repurposed for seven something which is an amazing price a great price price i've been looking into this for a while now i've been i've been doing my research i've wanted a drone a professional drone for as long as i've had my other drone as, as for as long as i started flying it i was like i i want to do this i'm going to this felt right so i i pulled the trigger my wife gave me the green light i pulled the trigger i got a new drone i'm so excited i ordered it it's coming hopefully next next week at the end of the next next week I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So with the extra money, I bought a backpack, a hard case backpack that, that goes with it. None of, besides the drone, none of its name brand stuff, all of that stuff, I tried to buy, I was gonna buy a case and I was like, okay, I have enough, I have enough to buy a decent case. And the case turned out like with without taxes, it wasn't gonna be, it was gonna be with my, within my price range. Within, like with taxes, it was way out of my price range. And I was like, there's no way, that's the dumbest, like that's that's main taxes right there. Anyway, so I'd, uh, outstanding, I'm so excited. Like I said, if you're just getting into this or you're about to go into to drones and flying drones, don't get the most expensive stuff. Who knows if you're gonna be able to use, you know, why buy a thousand dollar drone when you're only gonna use it like twice? or three times. Or if you're a parent, you're a, a parent, why buy an expensive drone for your kid who's gonna be like, oh, thanks, great, yeah, and never use it. So buy, buy the cheap drone first. Buy the cheap drone first. That is my suggestion. I cannot wait till like, my drone gets here. So excited, mainly dig it out.